from our brother Henry joining University. To the Viraja 254 revealing the hard truth. The government of Kenya <coughs> is giving the land Jigai for 30 years. Who is Gautam Adani? The Indian national is 62 years old and has a net worth of 81.2 billion US dollars. Mass protests at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. And I'm your host of today. My name is Elvis Kerry. Many of you are familiar with the Adani Group. And before we start this episode of today, let us first know who Adani is. The Indian national is 62 years old and has a net worth of 81.2 billion US dollars as of September 9th, 2024, according to Forbes. The figure places him among the world's 25 richest people. He is the chairperson of Adani Group, which has interests in ports, airports, power generation and green energy. Adani Group began operations in 1988 as a commodities trading company. It thereafter expanded through acquisitions. Adani is India's biggest airport operator. He also controls India's largest port called Mundra Port in Adani's home state of Gujarat. He also owns Abbott Point, a coal mining project in Australia said to be one of the largest globally. In 2022, Adani became India's second largest cement producer after acquiring a Swiss cement manufacturer in India. Before the protest started, Henry the whistleblower took to the streets to protest against the Adani group and against them taking over the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Take a look. Journalists were heading to the airport to cover the protests that was about to start at 12 midnight, but they were not allowed to get inside the airport. So this is the situation guys, uh, we have been uh, stopped at the JKA, mean we can't go access to do our work to report on that. What's your name sir? So they are stopping media from covering the situation at the JKA, simply because of uh, we are going to report on the situation, how people are stranded at the JKA and uh, this is the current situation. Yeah, it's crazy. Now the government doesn't want uh, the public to know what's happening at the JKIA. While the journalists were still negotiating the entry inside the airport, the workers were already conducting their demonstrations. <laughs> So the government decided to deploy National Youth Service to take over, but which they failed miserably.
There were long lines at the airport, travelers waiting anxiously to reach their destinations. Take a look at some of these video clips which was filmed by Larry Mado. So airlines are rushing to get the flights to leave JKIA before midnight because at midnight everything shuts down. The staff say they want to total shut down. And that means even flights cannot land and take off because members of the Kenya Aviation Workers Union includes air traffic controllers. Just every single aspect of the airport run by Kenya Airport Authority staff will not go on as they oppose the plan to transfer the operation of the airport to the Indian farm known as Adani. This is insane. This is mad. Where? Number of people are Ati? Titi Sana. Titi Sana. Some travelers even gave up and they wanted to go back home. But they were locked inside the airport. Like Mary Mariga, which she tweeted on X and said that can someone rescue us inside JK Terminal 1C? We need to go and sleep. We have been locked from outside for 1.5 hours and no one is saying anything. Even Mbakasi East Constituency Member of Parliament Babo Wino was not happy with the Adani group and this is what he had to say. Alafu mtu anatoka kule India anakuja hapa kufanya biashara Kenya. Fanya biashara India kwanza. Mm -hmm. Hapa Kenya wacha wafanye wa Kenya wafanye biashara yao hapa Kenya. Na ukitaka kuinvest Kenya kuja ununue shamba ujenge airport yako kama Adani. Mm. Sio iko sawa yes. na uajiri wa Kenya hapo. Si ati kukuja kuchukua airport ya wananchi. Mm. Kenyans only need 238 billion for the expansion of an airport. Yes, yes. Iyo 238 billion yezi shinda serikali ya Kenya mm, to yes. expand its own mm. airport yeah. na kuongeza jobs hapa ndani. Mm. The moment tumekubalia adani kuchukua airport yetu, tuta lose kazi. Mm. Pesa itatoka Kenya, mm. kuenda inje. Mm. Na iyo in economics ya ikubaliki hata kidogo, inaitua foreign absorption. Mm. Iyo ayezi grow inchi yetu. Kwa hivyo adani tunakuona tunakuon kabisa yes. JKIA is my constituency mm -hmm. and we are not going to allow you mm. and president Ruto kuwa na utu a reformer and red party of africa leader clinton mariera ndege had to send this message to the airport workers listen to this kwa wafanyikazi wa JKIA let me tell you the truth you are going to be jobless soon after adani takes over JKIA so saa hii mkikubali hawa sewa wachukue hiyo airport Mwanze kutafuta masivi zenu Na passport tuende kutafuta kazi pale Saudi Arabia So you must stand strong against these are done We are, in, we are all supporting you as Kenyans, thank you While Kenyans were holding peaceful demonstrations at the airport A Kenyan senator all the way from Mombasa County Was complaining that he couldn't take his brother abroad for medical treatment Listen to what he had to say Uliku kisafiri? Asate, nilikuwa na safiri kuenda Mumbai uh -huh. kumpeleka ndugu yangu kwa check up ya moyo na tulikuwa tuondoke alfajiri na ndege ya saa 12 but unfortunately kutoka hiyo time mpaka sasa bado tuko hapa na huu mgomo ulianza saa 6 usiku uh, usiku wa leo i will also like to show you a video clip of JKIA staff members mobilizing to make history Take a look. Tusikisane tafadhali. Nataka tuelewane. Ninyi ambao unaenda nyumbani sasa. Hakikisha kesho asubuhi ninyi nyote muko hapa. Yes. yes. Asubuhi na mapema. Lazima wakati historia itaandikwa miaka mingine. Yes. Sema jina langu liwe kwenye wale walitetea uwanja wa Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Yes. Usiwe 
nyumbani yetu unaangalia kwa televisheni tuko pamoja yeah. many patriotic kenyans wanted to go and join the protest at the airport but they were met with heavy security and tear gas even they couldn't board buses and roads were blocked moving on to the next video while kenyans were being tear gas and blocked in Nairobi CBD at the airport GSC officers were deployed Our Kenyan hero Henry who protested against the Adani group taking over the airport later on he met with Eric Omondi <laughs> After meeting Eric Omondi and redoing the protest video he later on got an opportunity to join Ndere Vocational Training Center Our brother Henry not only got support from Kenya but also around the world. Even the comments were very very positive. Listen to this. Kama kuna mtu ametetea airport ni huyu kijana. Huyu kijana abebwa na ndege, azungushwe jua hata ninajua hata airport kukanyaga sijui kama shakanyaga. Kenya mzima huyu kijana peke yake ndiye alijua airport inauzwa na tukacheka ndio alikuwa anasema nani kume airport imeuzwa na imeuzwa mwindi. Hata wafanyikazi hawako kwa wanajua. Hata wasomi wenye at least wenye tunaona wako sawa hawako wanajua lakini huyu kijana alikuwa anajua. Usiwahi dharau mtu. <laughs> Huyu kijana aki yeye peke yake ndiye alingangania airport inauzwa na akasema airport inauzwa na inauzwa mwindi tukacheka A patriot a professional relator and a pan africanist the villager 254 had a disturbing message to Kenyans on why Ruto is in panic mode Listen to what our brother the villager 254 had to say about this JKIA was sold it was not leased it was sold that's a done deal now this is the village of 254 patrick why i believe jkia has already been sold and that's a gone deal and it's a deal that's a matter under the water it's gone finished the only way the government of kenya can redeem itself is by paying damages because they have they will have to cancel this sale this deal has to be cancelled it doesn't matter what you call it i am a real estate professional i have done real estate for how many now full time 15 years but i done it for 5 years before that now when you enter into a lease the landlord retains the mother title you write a new contract called a lease because you are not taking the property the whole property for yourself so you enter into a lease and that lease is registered in the ministry of land and a lease is anything that is 5 years plus 1 day that's what the law says now what is the difference between Uh, what JKA have done and the normal leases that people have out here in Kenya the difference is this the government of Kenya <clears throat> is giving the land to JKA for 30 years and remember my people it's not only JKIA it is even Moi it is Eldoret it is Isiolo it is everywhere Mo everywhere where we have airports Adani will be running. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. And remember my people, it's not only JKIA. 
it is even moi it is eldoret it is isiolo it is everywhere Mo everywhere where we have airports adani will be running let us take a short break we're gonna be right back you're welcome What's up, Google people? Finally, I've arrived in Nairobi, Kenya, man. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how this uh, amazing city looks like. I remember you. Before you finish, uh, continue you guys showing you this uh, video. Man. This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Alvis Deli. Peaceful demonstrations are not only happening in Nairobi but also around Kenya. Let's go all the way to Eldoret City and see how the airport, the Moy Airport staff members demonstrated. Take a look. The Secretary General of the Central Organization of the Trade Union, Francis Otoli, was also not left behind as he joined the staff members at the airport for peaceful demonstrations. And this is what he had to say. <laughs> While peaceful protests are going on at the airport, some Adani group members had to hide themselves like cockroaches. Meanwhile, some Kenyan delegations went all the way to India to rubber stamp the Adani deal. And this is what Dr. Mumbi Saraki had to say about this. This is for entertainment purposes only, so now family. How has the JKIA Adani deal received crazy uproar and backlash? In India! Can you imagine? In India, family. Parker, the opposition leaders came out and they were like, yo, this is a bad deal for our country because it could even affect Indian-Kenyan relations. Of course, these guys are seeing these things trending globally. Adani has been trending globally because of Kenya. And uh, they said that this would also put the lives of Indians living in Kenya at risk. It would put the businesses of Indians living in Kenya at risk because Kenyans obviously don't want it. 
it looks like somebody is listening to us. And the reason this is happening is because the Kenya delegation recently landed in India to quickly rubber stamp Adani. You know, the way they're trying to do everything Chini Amaji. But wait, can you imagine? Indians themselves are protesting against the Adani group. Who are we as Kenyans to accept Adani? Take a look at this of how Indians protested against the Adani group. The money of the people that has been forcefully invested into the Adani group and now that the stocks are falling, now that there is a huge crisis, the money of the people is at stake. Apurva continues to be with... The allegations of fraud levelled against the Adani group caused deepening political unrest on Monday. Some of India's opposition party members were detained by police during protests, with the events stalling parliament for a third consecutive day. Communist Party of India member John Brittas is calling for a joint parliament committee. I mean, we want a JPC or a Supreme Court monitored uh, uh, inquiry into the scandal that is Adani. Adani itself is a big scandal and uh, the government has to come clean on this. And this is a symbol of crony capitalism that is in uh, demonstration now. Not only Kenyans or the Indians protested, even the Australians protested back in 2017 and Adani was actually banned in Australia. Take a look. Climate change protesters have scaled trees in the heart of Sydney CBD during a rally against coal giant Adani. They are... Tuesday week, October 17th, kicking off at 6.30, I can go off and dig his... Uh... <laughs> Kenyans, are you aware about the evilness behind the Adani deal? Like personally, I was very, very shocked and I want you guys to listen to this and listen very, very carefully. Adani has presented a PIP to the Kenya Airports Authority to do what? To run the JKIA, all right? The Kenyan government will not build a new airport in the next 30 years that can compete with JKIA if Adani Airport Holdings takes over the operations of JKIA. This is according to the demand set forth by the Indian conglomerates. So the PIP says, we come, we do, we do airport. You don't do no airport. You use. You use airport. 30 and no other airport. Air Adani will also propose amendments to Kenyan laws and change of national aviation policies to enjoy the sole mandate for running JKIA, stop competition in a bid to maximize returns. This overrides Vision 2030 that was initiated during the late Moi Kibaki's tenure, which aimed to transform Kenya into a logistical and service hub in the region. Under these proposals, the 38 airports in Kenya will not be upgraded. Even our Kenyan Gen Z sister was not left behind. And this is what she had to say about the Adani deal. The rumor has it that when Adani takes over Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, all the licenses and permits will be renamed Adani Airport Holdings Limited and JKIA will not be called Jomo Kenyatta International Airport again, but the name will be changed to Adani Holding International Airport. And Adani will operate in Kenya for 10 years tax-free. A popular Kenyan TikToker by the name of Wazimu Mwenzenyu, also known as Ellen, revealed that the Kenyan government is full of brokers. And this is what Ellen had to say about this. Adani JKIA deal. <laughs> I think the last cabinet had brokers inside because <laughs> how would Adani want to spend 1.8 billion to upgrade and expand JKIA? While Qatar Airways in Rwanda wants to build a very good airport at the amount of 1.3 billion. Secondly, I did not see any committee that sat with the then transport CS Kipchumba Murkomen to engage in any discussion because he was the transport cabinet secretary at that time. 1.8 billion is enough to build 
a new functional airport. So Adani would have come and built their own airport. They could have leased land to them. But now there is a broker in between Adani, the cabinet secretary in then, Kipchumba Murkomen, and Nabi. I really want to know who the broker is. What shocked me more is this, that that deal between JKA and Adani will be compensated if there are interruptions from courts or parliament or protests. I have come here this morning to tell you that our parliament, our government, our cabinet is run by brokers. What work on book? Many Kenyans are puzzled on how Kasaman Makore managed to enter inside the airport and take part in peaceful demonstrations against the Adani group. This is what Kasaman Makore had to say. Lazima kuwake. No, for sure, we are here to occupy the airport. Occupation not one of the people who Occupation is what we share. Whatever is meant to happen is not happening. Whatever is meant to happen is not happening. Uh -huh. I want to make up on the uh, 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to fly out to diff different destinations. One of Changa, one of the ones in Zambia, 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 one of the ones in Zambia,